As per usual, I have no idea what I'm getting into, but this is Aquaria, apparently, which, again, I have no idea what I'm getting into. It's got a dragon and birds, so it must be... Um... something. It's by Bitblot. Bitblot? Bitblot. Well, whoever that is, or whatever that is, it's presenting something. The lights of heaven, a blimp, and a floating fortress. This doesn't have a whole lot to do with water. At least that's what I'm assuming it would have to do with. Aqua? Aquaria? Oh look, it's like we're really playing something on the Genesis or the Super Nintendo or the Neo Geo or the um, other 2D system type thing going on here. There's fish! The fish are the answer. They are going to smash through the window and destroy that kid. And now there are little bits of redstone falling from the sky that actually looks like heat rocks from Pokemon. And this is probably a cutscene, and I probably should be talking during it, but screw that. That sounds wrong. Um, am I that person? No. Okay, that's good. Um. Well, that was anticlimactic. And silly looking, but okay, sure, whatever. I mean, stuff in this universe doesn't quite break right. Oh, uh, he should be dead. That was pretty high up. I mean, when you're falling from a really high height and hit water, you're going to hit it like concrete. That's how hard it's going to be. You're going to splat. But whatever. It's okay because the mermaid has found us. I know, this is like borderline flash game looking. That music is way too loud. Why is it? Um, yeah, new game. Let's go with that. Let's see what this is all about. There's the face lady. She has a face. The verse flows throughout Aquaria, through each ripple and wave, through every living being. The verse binds us all as one. The verse binds us, narrator and explorer. My story will become your own, and yours will become mine. You will live my life through my eyes, and you will learn the truth. So that's what was happening during the as intro. As back as I can remember, I came to this place to think. This cave was my sanctuary. Here, the verse was so focused that I could feel it humming in the stones around me. If I called out in song, the cave and its creatures would dance to my tune. If I had stayed there, I might have found peace. But eventually, loneliness and restlessness drove me away. Okay, like I was saying, well, not really saying, but, uh, I don't mind when games have stories, but I just get kind of irritated with cutscenes, especially when recording, but whatever. Um, so we're basically playing Eco the Dolphin from what it looks like. And we can choose between oranges and other stuff. Let's just stay on orange, because that's what we were on before. Whoa. I've found a map token. I didn't even see it on screen, to be honest. Ouch, ouch. So, here are some clams. I like how it's telling me to use the mouse, despite the fact that I'm clearly using a keyboard here. Um, there are jellyfish around me. I don't know if I can stand behind that. And there are some bones of some poor creature that died. Can I collect the plant? Plant, can I have you? Um, okay. Well, uh, so far I'm lost. Bonk my head a few times. And now we're in a map of a new area. So I guess this is like a... Well, I'd, I would, but like, I mean, I'm playing on a controller. I, I think that would the game would realize that. I mean... I don't know. I personally think the game should recognize whether or not you're playing on a controller or not. Uh, yes, we are getting stuck in the wall, but it's okay, because we can blast. Um, 
Oh, we're singing. Hooray, I can roll my hand. Jellyfish, can I sing to you in a various color? Do you like red music? I don't know, you keep trying to get away from me. You know, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you do not want to listen to my awful singing. And we have currents, because... Why not? Not really, what? What's the point of this? I've always kind when of... confronted with a dangerous situation, I was wise to use the full range of my physical abilities to avoid it. With a powerful thrust of my legs, my webbed feet would propel me forward, leaving my pursuers in my wake. Like I was saying, in most video games you should try to, um... At least I think, make everything have a purpose, because... I mean, throwing stuff in and just having it go nowhere is kinda silly. Okay, so if I go to a blue plant and go like this, I can heal, apparently, even though I don't see a health meter. Okay, well, uh, there's a fish. Fish are... I don't really like fish that much, to be honest. But I don't suppose it matters a whole lot. As I sang, I could feel the verse flowing through me. Certain songs stirred the verse deeply, causing changes in the surrounding waters. The first song I had discovered would wrap the verse around me, protecting me from environmental dangers. And next we're going to learn the Song of Storms. Hello, crab. I'm pretty sure I can't do anything to protect myself, so don't mind me while I'm just glowing here. Oh no, a tentacle is attacking me. It's okay though, they're pretty bad shots. I would know from having played Pokemon a few times that Tentacool is not the greatest thing in the world. There's a pillar. Pillar. Let's sing. And gain hot soup in a bubble. Hot soup in a bubble. Sounds like a terrible song. And now we're on the other side of that rock. Sweet. And so far, I really have no idea what to say about this game, really. Uh, all I know is I got it from Steam. Not Steam. I got it from Indie Bundle Place People. Yeah. Humble Bundle. That's it. And I got it for pretty cheap. But, I mean, I guess that's not a bad thing. But at the same time, it's not a good thing either, I guess. I mean, the developers would like to you to pay full price for games, I'd assume. And I just got hit by it. Okay, so my health is in the bottom right corner. Okay. I wanted to confirm that more or less since I didn't actually take notice to it earlier. I kind of assumed the power that lay within these crystals flowed to places beyond this world, and the memories of all who neared them were reflected in their depths. I chose to record my story within these crystals for the benefit of those who would journey beyond my life. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but I don't see what it really does. Still don't understand why the uh oh cutscene. Oh no. In all my memory, every day had been like every other. If she had not appeared before me in that moment, I might have stayed in those waters for the rest of my days, living as a simple creature. But I was compelled to follow. So, um, let's go see what that thing is all about, I guess. I don't know. I'm just a little swimming girl in the world of Aquaria. Woo! Whoosh! Hello! It's alright, I can't really speak a whole lot. Oh no, he's touching your face! Get away! And now we're another character. So, yeah, the game's just like... Screw you, blue girl. Now we're turning black and orange. Oh, lord. I have a way to defend myself, but I'm not doing a very good job. 
Uh, yeah, that was great. Um, I guess if you'd gotten through there, you'd get something for doing it, but... Um, I'm not very good at figuring out my control methods. Something tells me we should follow it. A strange form faded before my eyes. Perhaps I'd only dreamed her. That I was no longer the same. That vision. I'd lived as a feral creature, not thinking beyond the simplest desires. Until now. As if from a dream I awoke to the reality of my existence, to the fact that I was alone. Yeah, I knew we... that this world was called Aquaria, and that my name was Naja, but I could recall nothing else. Was I the only one of my kind left? Or was I destined to live out the rest of my days in solitude? My heart ached for answers. In time, I would discover far more than I'd wish to learn. Anyways, like I was saying, yeah, we pretty much are playing Eco, even though I never really played through Eco a whole lot because I didn't think it was very fun to go through, but whatever. To each his or her own. And, uh, this game seems fairly complex and long and all over the place, really. Um, doesn't seem like it'd be that good to LP from. But I suppose if you wanted to dedicate yourself to it, it can't be any worse than, uh, Yoshi. So let's get this recipe. Huh, we got tomatoes. I don't guess that plant is the kind that can actually heal me. Seems like there's something green here. Well, if there was anything green there, it died. I guess, I don't know. I'm kinda lost. And I don't really understand the point of the dash button. I mean, it's nice to go faster, but it doesn't really seem like it benefits anything. Um, due to the fact that this game has so much stuff going on, it seems like, I don't really know what I can really opinionize about it. Oh, we got some pork chops. Oh, uh, sushi actually, it looks like. Sorry, this... I just see pink and automatically assume pork chops because I play Minecraft a lot. And by a lot I mean not that much, but whatever. Didn't really want to go in there, but that's cool too. This is my home. I can orange. Okay. I was enveloped by warm light as familiarity overwhelmed me. I had come home. Oh, I'm home. Hello, white pearl thing. Seem to do anything. Um, just assuming that was a wall. Can't break open the pots. This isn't Zelda. There were many strange ingredients to be found in the waters of Aquaria. By cooking them together with the verse, I could create new foods. Some of my recipes proved to be very useful. like a needlessly complex, uh... Seems needlessly complex. Look at all the recipes I've gathered from the internet. Well, I don't have any plant leaves, so... Oh, that gives us speed, apparently. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I guess I have to click on the cook icon, which would probably be simpler to do with the mouse, because this game seems to favor the mouse, even though it's supposed to be played with them. I have no idea. So, if I ate it, I'd put it on her mouth. Okay, that makes sense. One minute and thirty seconds, I'm guessing? I don't know. Uh, no, I don't really want to quit. I want to go back to the game. Sheesh. I don't want to cook anything right now. I don't see how my character could possibly be hungry. We just started. So, this game's 
really long and confusing, I suppose, but I mean, I don't... Uh, that's the thing about playing some of these games I get from the indie bundles, it's like... It seems like to me they're just trying to do too much with what they were trying to accomplish, and then it's not like just a... I don't really know what I'm trying to say here, but what I'm trying to say is that this doesn't exactly seem... Well, for one, it's... I have no idea, really. All I know is that this seems to be a very... This doesn't seem like a game that you can just, like, play while... <sighs> talking, I guess. I don't know. This doesn't seem like the kind of thing you can just play while talking about, because it seems like it demands a little more attention than I'm willing to give to it. And I can't see a darn thing. Can't even see my barrier. I guess later we learn a spell that will light up the world for us so we can see everything even though we're a fish and by definition we shouldn't really need to see because waters are murky and as long as you know just keep swimming uh, no anyways uh, I have no idea what I'm doing here. This game seems very long and complex. And I just don't really feel like I can put that much thought and effort into it. This seems like a game that you would want to play beforehand if you were going to LP it, because it seems like it's one of those big, heavy adventure map type things, and those don't tend to favor blind LPing, so... I mean, I don't feel like I really showed off the game at all, but at the same time, I I just don't know entirely. I mean, uh, I don't know. If you want to see more of this, go find someone else's video or play it yourself. It's not uh, expensive, to be honest. Whoa. You stole my food, fish. I can attach to you and swim off of you. How do you feel about that? So I can see that there's a food chain going on here, and I'm obviously at the bottom of it, even though I am a human and by de well, mermaid, and by definition I should be at the top of it because I have fingers. Uh, apparently that has something to do with it. And I apparently have a brain and I can speak. And I don't really want to be in this current right now, thank you. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at this, I guess. I mean, I don't know how this game saves or anything. I guess I can check the quick menu. Or I can check the... this. It's a lot of icons. Anyways, uh, I guess that's it for this game. Uh, not really the greatest thing in the world for me to have gone through, but... I suppose it could be fun. Oh, a tutorial. Um, yeah, that's, that's cool. Props to the authors, but I just can't play this while LPing. It's kind of one of those games you want to experience for yourself, I guess. I mean, I just played for like, what, 20 minutes? Maybe. But whatever. That's what, what can you do?